So five Stanley thermoses, all pre-2000 USA made. And these start at 1966, 1974, 1991, 95, 97. So this one here is brand new, new old stock, never been used. This one is fairly new, been used a handful of times. This one's been used a while, many years, beat up a little bit. No real dents or anything, but you know, a little banged up. This one, these two rather, similar condition. I mean, for their age, very good condition, but about the same as this one. Now I have the temperatures of the water that was put in them. They were all within two degrees Celsius of each other. And they were put in at 6.42 p.m. So we'll check tomorrow morning. Just let them sit here and see how they hold up. So one thing I noticed about these is these older ones. They don't feel warm at all on the outside. Whereas this one, this 91, feels slightly warm. This one feels just warmer than these two. And this one feels the warmest to the touch. So I have this thermometer, this temperature gun. Let's see what it says. So that reads 19 degrees Celsius. Change it to Fahrenheit. That is 66, 67, 75, 76, 70, and 94. That's 95 at the bottom, 66, 70. 64, 65 roughly. So yeah, that might be one reason why the temperature is being lost so quickly on some of these newer ones. Maybe the walls aren't as thick or the vacuum insulation isn't as good. I'm not sure. Let's do one last test here. So I took off the lids and all of them. We're gonna see which one is warmest at the lid, or the stopper rather. So this one is 76, 81, wow, 135, 144 directly in the center. Let's see. This is 98, 113. Let's try this one again. 125. Okay, what about at the metal? 71, 69, 71 again, 73. 73, a 78. So pretty interesting. All right, so it's 824 the next morning. And let's start off by testing the outside temperature. 63, 62, 65, 8. 65, 62, 63. Yep. All right, let's see what it's like on the inside. So let's check the stoppers really quick. 68.6, three. One oh eight, 
63.1. Okay, let's take the water temperature. Okay, results are in. So I was using this thermometer here and just letting it sit in each one for a couple minutes. And here's the results. So these two start off at a lower temperature. I believe, I'll check the notes, but I believe this one was at 88, this, or 88 and a half, and this was 89 Celsius. And then I think all of the newer ones, I put the last one there to dry. Um, these newer ones had over 90 Celsius, like 93, 94, 95, something like that. Anyways, um, so the 66 and the 74 started at a lower temperature, but they ended pretty strong. This one ended at 69 Celsius. This one ended at 58 and a half. And this one dropped all the way down to 41 Celsius. This one did the best of the newer ones, the 95 which stayed the hottest at 71 Celsius. It was hot enough to be steaming when I poured it out and I still kind of had to like slurp it as if it were, you know, really hot coffee. And then the 97 sadly did the worst at 21 Celsius. So there you go. The double O-ring didn't do any better than the single O-ring. And the 74 just has the standard number 11 twist top. And this one, I think the number 10 does the best just because it's just a hard plug. And uh, just taking it off sometimes is really difficult. Um, they normally have this gasket, this O-ring here, but I took mine off just because I didn't want to lose it and it seals just fine without it. Um, so yeah, that's the results. Hope this was helpful.